I really want to make Katie aware of what she has put online. So I'm going to try and get her attention by giving their videos a little bit of a reaction. Although we'll see how far we go in this because it might be a little bit too much. Katie's first live video on Facebook, I think. I a video on this page, but I figured since we just started Real Food Blends, I wanted to show you um, this is what we're doing um, to feed by and this is a um, different this is a different formula to what they use now now they use cape farms which he has been told several times by many different subs that cape farms is not good they import a lot of their ingredients from china it's also a sickly sweet there's so many better options out there for tube feeding Katie has been scammed herself on this Kate Farms, but hey, this is what she used before Kate Farms. And just to give you a better understanding, I know we have a lot of tubies on this page, and I just wanted to help you um, kind of understand what it looks like. So, um, tubies, let me just flip this over. Okay, so very disorganized here, still in our pajamas, getting ready for the day. Okay. So what I did was I opened the um, salmon, oats, and squash, and it just says pureed food blend on it. Salmon, oats, and squash. And then if you see on the back, um, it has 330 calories, 20 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein. Um, but what I really like is that when you look at the ingredients, it says pomegranate juice, water, squash, puree, salmon, rolled oats, and flaxseed oil. Now, um, if I compare that to one of Vaughn's regular formula, which is right here, sorry again. He is on Peptamin Jr. So the biggest issue we had with this was the amount of difficulty we had with him being able to tolerate it. He was needing to be constantly vented and he was having a hard time breathing. So um, when we look at the ingredient list for Peptamin, it's this. It's a lot of fillers. Um, the first ingredient in is water and then maltodextrin carb that is added and it basically can help spike your blood sugar and it's just a cheap way to get carbohydrates into a feed. So it's not actually like good real food so um, we wanted to try a different way to help bond. So we're trying to get him off Peptamin Jr. We're moving over to real foods blends and there's several different foods or there's four different options today we're doing the salmon oats four options and the um i reached out to them yesterday and they let me know that they will have a new flavor coming out this fall so i've already emptied it into this cup and if you look in the cup that's what it looks like it's just a kind of a thick pure i'm just i'm speechless he has a tube straight into his stomach doesn't he so I'm wondering why all these flavors need to be added. So in order to get that into his feeding tube, um, I need to add water and I need to thin it out so that it can go in via gravity. So what I do is I'm going to turn oh, the Hang on. Is she going to use water straight out of the tap? wouldn't you maybe maybe boil the water and then let it cool and then use that water and just add a little bit of water oh okay so she didn't even use a measurement or anything she just went boom straight in what 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 Shit! 
How much water did you put in, Katie? And are you putting in that same amount every time? I don't think so. Maybe I shouldn't have commented on this. I The video is so grainy. I'm sorry. I don't understand why it's so grainy. The salmon one, by far, is a little bit more... Um, it's thinner than the other ones. It's a little bit more like a liquid. But how much water are you putting in? You, what are you basing that off? Because the water that you're putting in is not a consistent level. I'm so confused right now, which usually happens when I watch your shit because you don't know what you're fucking doing. So you don't need to add as much water. I found with the chicken one, I need to add a little bit more water in order to, for it to go into his tube via gravity. You can also just push but his symptoms and how he takes on every single feeding is going to be completely different because you have no idea of the measurements of what you're adding. The food in too. Um, I know some parents do that as well. Um, I'm just going to stir it up to thin it out. This will not only had um, water into his diet so they don't have to push just like regular water it's so it kind of is like oh my god what am I hearing like she doesn't know what she's doing he's getting food and liquid with his diet so um, if you notice it's pretty thin at this point it's still gonna be a little bit thick to go through the tube um, I should I be able sick. to go if I push it out I feel so, so I need it. Fast basically, forward. what I'll do is I'll get an extension like this. And some people will do pushing as well. So, what you can do is you can grab 20 or 60 mil wow. catheters, catheter syringes, and just put it straight into the mixture and then put it into the extension and then put it right into the tube. Um, I'm not going to show you per se how to actually feed it. Um, I think most of you would know how to do it at that point, but I just wanted to show you what the food looks like, how we thin it out, and then it ends up being about a cup and a half of volume for his tummy. So, and he's been able to tolerate that amount so far. So, um. He's only little. A cup and a half. I would have just gone a cup. Maybe 300 max. Thus far, we've been really... Not that I know what I'm saying, but... We've been really happy. Um, his reflux is better. His ability to tolerate the feeds is better. He's not breathing as heavy. Our biggest issue was his inability to actually, like, breathe and play. Um, yesterday, he was able to breathe, play, not have to be vented. His lips didn't turn blue. And then this morning... <laughs> Just before she makes the big announcement that she has been waiting for this whole video, what this whole video is about, I just wanted to say this was, you know, oh, oops, this was Katie in 2018. Yeah, I feel like she had a midlife crisis and wanted a life that she didn't have and so she just entered this delusional world where she was she was young she was katie she had like blonde hair she got her lips done she was feeling fantastic she was the katie she always wanted to be but outside of that room was her reality she completely changed. She never wore makeup, she admits. She was never into makeup until 2019. She acts like she's a pro. She acts like she is better at doing makeup than Tati. There's a video where she says that Tati can't even blend. She can't even match her foundation to her neck. But the thing that Katie totally fucking missed with that was Tidy was trying to match it to her tan on the rest of her body. 
And also you don't, your face is always going to be pale. You've got to match it to, you know, the inside of your arm or your neck. I don't understand what the fuck always I don't understand is my motto when it comes to Katie. I don't understand. Do you want to tell me? I don't understand. And play. Um, yesterday he was able to breathe, play, not have to be vented. His lips didn't turn blue. And then this morning, <laughs> probably TMI, but he actually had a poop that looked like normal poop. A poop, that poop, that poop that looked like normal poop. So um, I think it's going to be good for him to have a regular diet in here. Um, my plan is to also make some bone broth and add that instead of water to get him a little bit extra sodium because the... Oh my gosh, I don't think he needs sodium. Any processed food is going to have sodium in it. Pretty sure, what was the flavouring that was in there? Didn't you have something like salmon and oats and what was that other one? Fuck, it only just happened and I've forgotten. Salmon, oats and... What was it? But that's where the sodium is, you stupid idiot. In the flavor. Oh my God. So she would have added more salt. This kid is just being, he's a hamster. She's just experimenting. She has no idea what she's doing. A little bit of water in this jug. A little bit of water, here we go. Here you go, here you go, yeah. Real Food Blend doesn't have added sodium into it. And if we eventually move to a full blended diet, what we'll have to do is add a multivitamin because in the Peptamin, they add a lot of like vitamins to make it a complete diet. Why have you taken him off the medically prescribed tube feeding? Katie gosh she's going against medical advice she's going against what the doctor has given for her child onto this shit his brain is going to be dehydrated from all the fucking sodium from the broth and the water that she's adding that's diluting any fucking nutrition that he would be getting from this fucking meal. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get him fed, but I just wanted to share <clears throat> and kind of bring you on this journey of what it looks like to be part of um, doing more of a real food diet for Vaughn. And Did she say to let you be a part of it? Because you know, she's gonna be a vlogger of her medically fragile child we're gonna raise him up like the child he should be in the medically fragile world he's been happier so we're happy too thanks guys okay bye bye Kaney.